Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun! Last time, some of you guys were telling me about some words carved onto the wall here. Uh, that explains how you're supposed to know to use reveal here. I, I don't know why, it just totally slipped my mind in all the times that I played the game to look at that, because I don't think we've ever been able to read something on a wall, but... There it is, so that's how you're supposed to know what to do. There have been a couple times between the two games where I would... There would be, like, a puzzle or something that I couldn't solve, and the solution was something so obvious. Like, most of the times I could figure stuff out on my own, but... Yeah, dumb little things like that. Okay, so we're done here. I'll meet you back at... Uh, Lolly Barrow there. Okay, we're back. So, let's take a look around, see what's going on here. What do you mean you were taken by surprise? You're soldiers! You're always on guard. And there's kind of only one way to get into the village. How does that even work? Uh, well, yeah, when they can just shove a lightning bolt up your ass, or... Well, set you on fire, more likely, but yeah. Yeah, I wonder who this Ferran is. Or whoever they're talking about. What do you mean? Oh. Well, why would... Why would... Why is everyone so worried about her? Oh, well... Okay, I guess that would make a little sense. Nuts. Hmm, I wonder how she got here. Eh, it's probably not important. I wouldn't worry about it. Well, at least you guys got the same color hair. But now, just like most other villages that have a little wall on the outside, you can climb all the way around. And this time we get something really good. One of my favorite pieces of equipment in the game, the Warrior's Helm. Nice thing about that is that not only does it boost your critical hits, it boosts your Earth Elemental attacks. So that'll be really good for Isaac there, especially once I get his ultimate weapon. That'll really help us out a lot. And there, there's a few treasures around here, but not too many of them. But yeah, you gotta like jump around rooftops to find stuff in this village. Yeah, and you can jump across water like that. Did I talk to her already? Oh, right. Okay, yeah, I did talk. Well, she doesn't have a retreat spell, I would imagine. That's a Venus power, or Venus Depths synergy. But we get a side crystal from the pillar there. Awesome. You can't move the pillar, so don't even bother. Let me see. Hmm. They don't seem to indicate the element of retreat there. Let me see if I can look it up this way. Okay, yeah, it is a Venus sending G. Well, there you are. Not that that really matters, because all it does is teleport you out of places, but it's there. Ah. Okay, never mind, then. What is in there, anyway? Maybe you know. Ah. Yeah, that would be uh, a problem. Well, you're not not really going to help us very much, is it? Oh, what kind of power is it? You're not going to tell us, are you? Does she say anything? Or he say anything about it? Well, you better get started! You insolent fool! How dare you doubt my power! And mushrooms are okay. I don't eat mushrooms very often, but eh, they're alright. Okay, how's it going? Oh, well thank you! Well, we gotta rest up before doing that. And I don't feel the need to uh, recharge my synergy. Oh, for a second there, I was expecting the game to say that there was 
nothing in the oven because you don't see any steam coming out of a pot or something like that. And then I'd react with total surprise that, my goodness, an oven's not being used in this game. But now it is being used. You just don't see anything going there. So, never mind. Carry on! Oh, okay, you are working on the other oven then. Okay, never mind then. Mmm, garlic breadsticks. Or whatever she's cooking now. I wasn't paying attention. Well, yeah. So, why didn't you stop him? I don't know. But I do want to go over here to get another treasure. By the way, I sold some of my excess equipment off screen and most of the items like sleep bombs and stuff that I don't care about. But I did give, yeah, there it is. I was like, where'd it go? I did give the mithril circlet from Ivan to Mia since I got the lucky cap for Ivan already there. Nuts. I wonder why they would be interested in going there. I thought they'd be interested in the lighthouse. Hmm. Oh, yeah, we're already here. How would you even know that? What, did they just use, like, carrier pigeons or something? Well, they might have, I don't know. What do you mean, the southeast? There's an ocean there. Oh, hmm. Well, that might explain why they're interested in it. Hmm, I wonder. That couldn't possibly be true. Well, too bad I can't get any of it. Don't have an empty bottle or anything. What do you mean? Why would anyone call you? Oh, um, yeah, they're, they're good. Take what you can get. Well, maybe we should check it out. Sounds like a good time for puzzle solving and everything. Well, let's see, at the item shop here, I think there's an item here. I think it's right over here. If I can ever look at the barrel. Ha ha! Gotcha. Well, not really. I mean, it's only Tolby. Everyone else seemed to be pretty nice. Except for, like, Lunpa. And, uh, well, some other places. Okay, they might be right about that. Six of them? She's totally unprepared for six. Wonder what they want with her anyway. Oh, well, what about that? I wonder if that has something to do with the Venus Lighthouse. I don't know! Oh, really? Hmm. Well, I thought he wanted to use it to help search for Lemuria or something. Well, let's check it out, eventually. Let's see, I think there's... Yeah, there's a couple more... ...treasures we can get around here. Why would Lolly Barrow be finished if she doesn't come back or something? How important could she possibly be? How important could a lucky medal possibly be? Answer, not very. You can eat cactus? I thought cactus was just used for like, like storing water in the desert or something. I'm an engineer, not a agriculture or farmer, or whatever. Whoever does that stuff in the desert, I don't know. What do you mean? Oh. Yeah, probably not. Maybe she just doesn't like hurting people or something. It could happen. Let's see, before getting some new equipment, well, let's talk to these guys at least. Well, that's what everyone else is saying, apparently. Well, you could have the armor merchant help out. 
Spoiler alert! He doesn't give you a discount anyway. Unless it's already included to begin with. Hmm. Well, let's he go walk around this little rooftop. For some reason, you can't jump from the outer wall to this rooftop. I don't know why. Oh, hey, there's a little genie over there. Can never have enough of those. Not that I'm ever gonna really be worried about my supply of water of life, but it's there. It restores you to full HP too, which is very nice. So yeah, just walk all the way around here. You also can't walk from or jump from that upper wall to the roof of this building for some reason. But all right, let's get the torch. Uh, genie going there and it's another attack genie for Mars there so I'm gonna give that to Isaac there so that way he's got a couple of those because he's gonna be attacking more than Ivan will really or at least he's or Isaac is slower than Ivan so Isaac will be more well suited to finishing off an enemy but all right, okay, so that's all the treasure we can get here. Let's see what we can do. Well, let's get rid of those two extra lucky metals. Okay, I don't think there's anything that's generic that I really want to buy here. Well, let's start with the armor then, let's see. Okay, Magical Cassock. Dr. Cassock? No, no, that's another game of yours. But I do want to, let's see, with this one, yeah, let's just give that to Mia there. Sounds like a plan. No, I don't need any more game tickets. Let's see, the mirrored shield has quite a bit of defense. You could give that to the guys, but I prefer the passive abilities from those over the extra defense you get on the mirrored shield. You could go either way, though. Let's see, we got a jeweled crown. Boost your luck stat for some status resistance, so we might as well... Give that to Garrett. He could use the help. And let's see. There's one more thing. The spirit armlet. So, let's see. Let's give that one to Mia. I don't care about the vir... Er, yeah, I do want the virtuous armlet. So, actually, let's give that to Mia. But don't equip it right now. Or, er, well, I suppose I could equip it, but I don't want to get rid of the virtuous armlet for her. Maybe I screwed that up a little? No, no, we're still good. But I do want to have the spirit armlet. And it also boosts your elemental powers a little bit too. So that's pretty nice. Let's take that, give that one to Ivan there. Let's see, I'm not planning on using the spirit gloves, but I'm just gonna hold on to them anyway because they're unique and I might wanna carry them over to Future events, let's put it that way, viewers. Alright, and there's uh, quite a few really good weapons here that we can get here. So, Silver Blade, let's give that to Isaac. You don't have to buy it. Oh. Okay. Well, yeah, you don't have to buy it for him if his inventory is full, that's for sure. Let's start with that. Okay. Let's try that one again, pal. So, yeah, you don't have to buy this for Isaac because we will find a much better weapon for him in the relatively near future. But I have the money. This is the last shop in the game. We might as well just take what we can get. Okay, as for other weapons. Now, for now, I actually want to give the Righteous Mace to Garrett there. It's better than his Dragon Axe. But I still want to hold on to the Demon Axe for later when I get an item that can help me out with that. Okay, let's see. We got the Crystal Rod. Want to give that to Mia there? Part of the reason why I like giving that to her is also because, well, she's good with Mercury Elemental stuff. And, well, that's what the Crystal Rod does with its Unleash effects. And let's see. One more weapon. Some consider it one of the best weapons in the game. The Swift Sword. When you do an Unleash, there's a chance it'll deal triple normal damage that you would with it. So, that's pretty nice. 
Yeah, now I don't have any money problems when I don't even really care about it anymore. But all right, I think we're all set and ready to go. Let's head on to Bobby Lighthouse. Uh, it doesn't seem to be complete yet, but okay. Ah, well, you probably should. Just punch in your time card and you'll be fine. Well, at least they didn't kick your ass for some reason. Oh, well, that could be. You gotta have a good foundation for a building. How hard could it possibly be? Okay, I will then. Well, we got one of those silly looking blocks there, so that'll help us out a bit. And we're gonna have to be careful moving this because if you keep on pushing it, it will go right off the edge and you'll have to walk all the way out and back here again. N not that I'm bitter about doing that when I was practicing earlier today. Yeah, that can be annoying. Yeah. But all right, yeah, just use your carry synergy then and you can lift it right up there. Ha-ha! Ooh, Lucky Pepper. Let's see who we want to use it on. Probably Ivan or Garrett. Yeah, we'll give it to Garrett. I could have gone either way, really, but... I don't really worry too much about the luck stat. There's only, like, one instance where I actually care about it. Oh, they are killing, or er, well, attacking people randomly again. So I guess we're on the right path. So what are soldiers doing here anyway? Well, there were people who thought, used to think that way in the past. You know what happened to those people? They all died. Now we don't consider that cowardly anymore. But yeah, I mean, the, the, Bobby kidnapped Sheba, so why would you need soldiers here? You could just basically hold them hostage indefinitely. As we fight a new enemy here. Okay, let's see. This guy is a, I think a Skull Warrior? Yeah, okay. Let's see. This guy is weak to Venus, just like all of his cousins. Let's see, can I get a heal in and still kill this guy? I think I can. Let's go for it. I'll use Ember, though, just in case, for some reason, the others can't finish the guy off with just two Jin. They might not be able to. Of course, I could be wrong about that. Awesome. Well, at least we got the... Yeah, all that taken care of. Whoa, no, I don't want to push the pillar around. I just want to go down here. There's not a whole lot we can do here. Let's see. Yeah, let's bind move because we're going to be using it a lot here. So what we need to do is get to the upper right part. But we can't get there because we couldn't move the right pillar that's in the way. So you move the left one out of the way. Whoa. Can I... No? Okay, never mind then. Let's try it again. So yeah, you move the left pillar over, then you come down up. For some reason I thought I'd bound, find a move to the L button, which I usually do. Hmm. Probably wasn't paying attention as usual. Let's just keep on going then. Okay, now for this, I need my growth synergy. So yeah, just unset a couple of those gin. And we're back in action. Okay, now for this part. Whee! Okay, yeah. Now, for this, let's save because... Well, it would be really hard for me to leave the screen and come back in the event this guy decides to run away. For mini-boss time against the Jupiter Genie. Okay, so let's just pretty much go all out, really. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just use our regular attacks here. Yeah, we'll go with that. Ah, uh, didn't get the triple hit. Oh, well, that's okay. Just soften this guy up a little bit there. Hmm. 
I could heal, but let's not. This guy is really fast. That's one of the reasons why I didn't use my Venus Genie Jin in the first round. Because I didn't want to lose the speed boost that Garrett gets from the Ninja Jab class. But alright, we got the final genie in the game, Luff. And that one is pretty good. It can seal synergy, and it's much more accurate than the bind synergy. So that's pretty nice. I don't know a situation where I would really care to use it, but it's available. It's there. Whee! Ignore those lower stairs. They lead inside to some ruins, but we can't even do anything there. Hmm. I think we go down this one. Yeah, one of the few situations where going or taking the shorter path is actually the right way. By the way, those stairs I told you to pass up, they lead all the way to the left there. But the door is locked, so you couldn't get in from that way anyway. You'd, you'd have to back out, and then the door would open. But now we got another door on our way. Is there, like, a keyhole or something? Maybe it's not a door. Maybe you could find a way around. Well, those are pretty solid statements of fact there. Oh, you know, now that I think about it, I think I know why they uh, kidnapped Shiba in this game. I mean, not the next game. Oh, um, yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, we're from Angara, the continent of barbarians, but we're actually here to help you. We're the only four decent human beings from the area. At least as far as these guys know. Well, yeah, it's kind of hard to fight someone who can set you on fire just by giving you a bad look. Well, we could try opening the door first. Why are you acting so diplomatic, Yotam? These guys kind of hate you for kidnapping their star child. Oh, well, how do you want me to do that? Garrett, could you set them on fire, please? Any day now. Or maybe you could shove a lightning bolt up their ass, Ivan? Or you guys could just stand aside and see if we can find a way to open that door. But can we find a way to open it? Does it really lead all the way to Venus Lighthouse? And what will we find on the way there? Find out next time on Let's Play Golden Sun. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!